A local base has a problem, and it's one lots of folks in Hampton Roads can relate to. Mold. And it is forced for its story to close off part of a building that plays a key part in keeping servicemen and women safe. Investigative reporter Chris Horde has a closer look at the plan of action. Chris? Yeah, Tom and Nicole, the mold has turned up in the fire station on Fort Story. We found out about this from people who didn't want to be identified, but obviously they have some genuine concerns about the possible health hazards from the mold. The mold in Building 700 on Fort Story emerged this summer. The complex has fire trucks and ambulances in its center section, with offices, sleeping quarters, a kitchen, and dispatch operations in the side sections. Base Commander Frank Hewlett ordered environmental testing at the complex. There was a significant amount of mold in the air, not black mold, but common, common household mold, if there is such a thing, was, was evident. Hewlett closed off all sections except the vehicle bays, which he says did not show mold because the high doors create better ventilation. So then we worked very closely with the firefighters and the union and removed personnel from the space and the, to maximize transparency. About 3,000 people live and work at the 1,500-acre installation, originally an Army base but now controlled by the Navy. It includes the original Cape Henry Lighthouse, now a historic site, the site of the Jamestown Company's first landing, and a statue that commemorates the French support of Washington's forces at Yorktown during the Revolution. The personnel affected by the mold have relocated to nearby cottages. Hewlett says because of that proximity, response times for the first responders will not be affected. The reaction times are not compromised at all, or neither the, none of the emergency services are compromised given the precautions that we've taken. A division of Portsmouth Naval Hospital did the testing, and the records show high readings of two types of common mold, cladosporium and penicillin aspergillus. There's nothing that's going to cause a respiratory problem. It'll aggravate existing ones, though. And the commander says instead of just cleaning up the mold, the base will remove and replace the AC unit and the ductwork throughout the building. Yeah, Hewlett told me if all they did was clean it up, then the mold would probably come back within a year. The work to replace the AC and ductwork begins this month and will last into the first quarter of next year. The vehicles will remain in the building, but the personnel will be in temporary quarters for several months while that work is completed. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.